Something a little bit different today guys, the Tamiya Striker. Let's have a look at this fantastic RC buggy. Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Adam from RC Action Australia. As you can see, today's video guys, it is going to be about the Tamiya Striker. Um, I picked this car up um, off a fellow in New Zealand who actually um, contacted me via the channel because he did see um, in one of my videos I posted up saying that I was looking for a Tamiya Striker. So he contacted me on the Facebook group guys so it's a great little community over there um, at RC Action Australia and we also have a group page so get over there and check that out. Um, lots of uh, very very cool people on there um, and I've bought a few things through that page. So today guys the Tamiya Striker. Now I bought this car as a restoration project and to be totally honest it's turned up uh, a lot nicer than I um, thought and saw in the picture, so that's always a positive uh, when it turns up a lot nicer. Now, I did have to do a few little things when I first got it. Um, you know, I think obviously being this car is the same age as me, um, it got released a few days after I was born, so it needed a few little parts. So before we get on to that, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the Striker guys. So it's kit 58061, um, and it was released in the 21st of February 1987. Um, it's kit 61 from Tamiya, apparently, um, and it's a 1 tenth scale two-wheel drive um, off-road car. So obviously two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, guys. Um, it was originally designed for a beginner, um, someone just getting into the hobby, so I would assume it's probably got the same appeal as the uh, Grasshopper. Um, and obviously you can see I've got the Sonic Fighter, which is also based on this car as well. So it's a 1 tenth, 1 -twelfth, uh, 1 -tenth scale, sorry guys. Um, it's got this ABS plastic um, tub chassis. I'll show you this in a little bit more detail soon. Um, and obviously it's made out of hard ABS plastic and you had to paint it uh, before adding the decals. Um, it's got a hard plastic uh, wing on the back and what else can I tell you guys? Um, it's got uh, independent suspension all round as you can see front and rear. Now it's only sprung suspension, there's no dampening at all um, on this car. It's um, runs a just a normal Mabuchi 540 uh, motor, um, comes standard with an 18 tooth pinion um, and when I got this car it didn't have a pinion in it at all unfortunately and I thought there was something missing in the gearbox but I popped the motor out and um, just didn't have the correct pinion. So I think it had some weird looking like 12 tooth pinion in there. So I went through my parts bin guys and I found a, a 19 tooth pinion which is actually the upgrade pinion for this car so that's pretty cool. Um, it's got obviously your normal grasshopper um, wide spike tyres at the rear and the front um, narrow ribbed tyres. Um, historically, I mean it's not really a collector car so it's not really going to be like you know some like a Falcon or a Terra Scorcher and some of the cars are a Vanquish that's behind me guys or the Top Force Evo um, but in saying that they are quite difficult to find in really good condition and um, to be totally honest some of the ones that I've seen on eBay that look worse than this people are asking like a thousand dollars for so prices are definitely on the up guys, so if you're looking for something um, that's cheap and cheerful um, and is going to obviously go up in value in the future, I think that this sort of car or the Sonic Fighter um, is definitely a car to, to go for if you, if you are into something like this. Um, 
one of the cool things guys I've got online and I've bought pretty much every single part for this car except for the tub um, so parts are readily available um, they're not too expensive compared to some other cars but uh, it's definitely um, a cool little kit so I'll show you um, I'll bring the camera in a bit closer I'll show you some of the upgrades that I've done on the inside plus some of the things that I had to do just to make it um, basically make it smooth and make it run um, before I took it outside and had a little run okay so, so I'll show you in a little bit more detail guys we've got that um, that's the car there as you can see it's quite nicely done there's a few little paint imperfections and things like that so that's why at some stage I will be doing a uh, full strip down and rebuild and obviously some of the uh, decals are a little bit lifted there but all in all it's a very very nice looking buggy uh, probably could do with some new wheels and tires or uh, well, new tires anyway so let's lift the lid on um, on the kit here and I'll show you some of those electric upgrades so as you can see there that top half there is another ABS plastic piece um, and it's in really really good condition the drivers painted fairly nicely there so um, and it's in box art colors I believe okay so when I picked it up today guys it had this Traxxas um, servo in it the servo wires were cut um, so I put a new set of wires on there um, and I fired it up and it was very very glitchy um, for some reason so I decided just to take that one out and obviously it had a uh, its factory manual speed controller in there um, I do believe the black top ones are harder to come by so um, there's nothing wrong with that it's in very good condition although I don't believe it's the one from this car because the um, resistor wires aren't long enough to fit where it fits in the factory position and the switch um, was cut on it as well uh, so that's that small opinion and the motor so I've got a few of these motors so I just popped another one in um, as you can see it had the wrong size pinion and the motor itself feels a bit um, I think it's just got a lot of dirt and dust in it so I thought I'd just change it out um, so one of the other things it was very very um, noisy and as you can see it's nice and smooth there so I've put some bearings in the front and the rear gearbox was very bound up and there was a lot of wobble and play with the back wheels and that was just down to the uh, standard um, Tamiya bushings were all worn out and there was a lot of play with the drive shafts so swap those out. Um, I haven't cracked open the gearbox yet, guys, but as you can see, it's very, very smooth. So on to the electrics. So I just fitted a uh, old sort of Futaba um, indirect servo that I had laying around, and I figured that that'll just fit the period of the car nicely. Um, I also had just laying around a TU101BK um, speed controller. So I've mounted that up there and just an old uh, Futaba um, receiver in there, obviously with the old school uh, radio uh, antenna look going on. So that's what the electrics are guys, that's what I've done to the car. Obviously when I had the motor out I did squeeze in a little bit of this um, uh, Cera grease, this is what I use for all my restorations and gearboxes. So I did put a little bit of that in there um, and as you can see it's very very smooth. So let's get it outside.
So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Um, uh, first of all, talking and then looking at the uh, Tamiya Striker. Um, I hope you all agree there that it's a pretty cool looking car and it's definitely one um, for you guys out there to add to the collection um, and obviously have a bit of fun with. So um, as you can see behind me here guys, I've got a few different cars um, on the backdrop today and obviously the Sonic Fighter. Um, so that's another up and coming um, uh, unboxing and obviously we've already got one that's built so we'll get some radio gear in that and take it out and have some fun as well. So once again guys, thanks for watching. Um, we'll get some video footage of this one running down in the park and then at some stage this will go in for a full restoration, repaint and um, as I said I've got every single part for this car brand new bar the, the tub. So it'll be like mint condition once it gets its restoration. So um, I'll leave it there today, guys. Um, as always, hit like, hit subscribe. And don't forget, we've got that uh, subscriber giveaway car, which will be the Tamiya Frog. So um, that'll, that'll be coming up soon. So once we uh, get a few more things done with this and some running videos, I will then be uh, looking at uh, bringing you guys the uh, full details of that RC car giveaway. So until then, thanks for watching guys.